As we uh, turn to our prayers for today, we begin with a word from our epistle passage that I didn't touch upon in my message today. As newborn infants who long for the pure spiritual milk, so let us come before the Lord seeking his mercy with confidence that his grace will be sufficient for all our needs. I don't know what need you may have today. Perhaps you might be going through some grief or sorrow. Perhaps you might be experiencing some type of loss. Perhaps you're unemployed. Perhaps you're not feeling well. Perhaps you are working through some doubts and anxieties. Or maybe there's relationship issues. Whatever your need is, you can be assured that the Lord is attentive to your cry. And we invite you to join us in prayer and bring that to him today. I'm going to pause for a brief moment for you to do just that, and then we'll continue with our prayers, and we'll conclude them with the, signif with the refrain, Lord, in your mercy, and we invite you to say, hear our prayer. Almighty, everlasting God, your Son has revealed to us as a merciful Lord. Give us your Holy Spirit, that we may believe in him whom you have sent, and do the greater works he has told us we will do in his name. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Holy God, your power brought all things into being, and still you preserve what you have made. We ask your blessing upon our president, the Congress, our governor, and all elected and appointed civil servants, that they may honor you and your purpose, establishing order and justice, encouraging virtue and protecting all life. Give wisdom and moderation to them in their leadership for the well-being of the nation, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O merciful Father, you have compassion upon the sick and those in need and have promised not to ignore them in their afflictions. Turn back the pandemic across the globe and give us relief. Bless the sick with healing, those who suffer with strength and patience, and the dying with peace. Hear us on behalf of those who have requested our prayers as those we remember in our hearts. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Gracious God, you have established the home and bless those who show us your love. Bless all mothers and the children in their care. Bless all families and make their homes places of blessing and love where your word is spoken, forgiveness reigns, and love is displayed. Give us good examples to inspire youth that is good and pure, and to seek those things. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Compassionate Father, you are not aloof from the needs of this body and life, and you have called us to love our neighbor in need and to give aid to the poor. Give us courage and faith that we may not fear sharing the resources you have supplied with those who live in want, especially the widow, the orphan, and the unemployed. Let love be perfected among us to drive out selfish fears. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We praise you, God, for your goodness in hearing the prayers of your people and granting us confidence to approach your throne of mercy. Hear us now in the name of and for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, through whom, with whom, and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, both now and forevermore. Amen. And we pray together the prayer that our Lord taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, 
forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you his peace. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our closing hymn today is going to be Take My Life and Let It Be. Uh, before we uh, sing that hymn together as you sing it at home, I want to just wish all of the mothers and grandmothers, uh, mothers today, uh, a very blessed Mother's Day on Sunday and throughout the coming days. We thank you for you. We thank the Lord for you and we appreciate all that we have received from your hand through our mothers. Blessed be the mothers. Thank you.